October was another very positive month for global equity markets. Uh, several factors helped push up the global MSCI index around 2% uh, in the month. Uh, firstly, uh, signs of progress with US-China trade talks and global uh, investors are now very hopeful that a deal can be reached uh, between these two major economies over the next uh, few months. Uh, also, US earnings results for the third quarter uh, coming in better than expected. And we're seeing tentative signs that global manufacturing, which has been slowing over the past year, may be starting to stabilise. And certainly if we do get a trade deal between the US and China, the hopes of a, of a recovery there in global manufacturing and global trade uh, should improve. Uh, the Australian market not as positive, is down 0.4% in the month. The resources sector fell back, declines in iron ore prices, and the banking sector also under pressure with uh, the RBA cutting interest rates uh, seeming to uh, squeeze their, their profits and there's concern around bank profitability. Well, in terms of the outlook for global markets, it really still does all hinge on the US-China trade deal. Uh, and I'm very hopeful now that a deal will be reached um, in the next uh, few weeks, if not months, simply because without a deal, the downside risk to the US economy next year uh, will intensify. And I think that's something Donald Trump won't want to face uh, in a presidential election year. So I think a deal will be done and that bodes well for global equity markets heading into 2020. Hi, I'm David Bassanis, Chief Economist at BetaShares, and this has been a snapshot of my market trends report for the month of November. If you'd like to see full details, including an analysis of which sectors and which countries across global markets are doing particularly well at the moment, please visit the insight section of our website where the full report is available. Thanks for listening and I'll see you again next month. Thank you.